So segment anything version two has just been released by Meta. So this is a pretty cool model. We can now go in and do auto labeling of our images. It can segment anything in an image, but also now in videos. In this video, we're going to see a high level overview over the model, how it works, how it works on videos as well. We're going to see a bunch of examples, but also how we can use it to annotate your own images and data set with the Encore platform. So it's already deployed in there for production use and you can use it and test it out. So let's just jump straight into it and take a look at the blog post released by Meta. So here they're introducing SAM2. This is a significant upgrade compared to the version one and we're going to go through all the detail, how it works, how it's better than the version one because version one was groundbreaking in the computer vision industry both for annotating images, using it to also label your own data sets. You can both go in and use it together with points, bounding boxes and even masks and it can segment out any object in your images. So this is a pretty nice upgrade from the version one to version two. Here we can see the key takeaways. So now it works on both images, but also videos, which is one of the most important things because now it can act like track objects over time. So instead of just doing segmentation on each individual image, it acts like has memory. So it uses the memory attention. This is just one large transform architecture, the same architecture used behind the last language models and so on. But now this model has incorporated, it has integrated feedback into it with memory. So it can actually track objects that it has segmented out throughout the frames in a video. So this is a pretty crazy upgrade. The model architecture is still relatively simple. The main advantage here is that they have this new SAV dataset, which is significantly larger. We can see here that it has 51,000 real world videos and also more than 600,000 masklets. So it's basically just spatial temporal mask. So it's mask across frames in a video. This is a significant upgrade compared to the version one and it can be seen in both the accuracy but also the tracking over time. So you can basically just take a single point, click with your mouse and it's going to segment out that specific object. You can choose a region, mask and so on. We can even go in and prompt it and then we can combine it with a whole computer vision pipeline. This model here is also significantly faster so it can run in real time and do tracking as well. So instead of just segmenting out your optics with same one and then applying tracking on top of that, this model here combines all of it and does it in one go. So it's significantly faster and way more accurate. You can see all the details within the blog post, but we're going to cover the key highlights and the main aspects, but you can always go in and check it out. So you can see how to build SAM version two. This is the visual segmentation that I was talking about where it does object tracking. So you can both take a point, you can delete points and mask and so on that it has segmented out and we can see the tracking capabilities of this new SAM version two model where you can track it across the frames, even though the foot here or like the soccer boot is occluded by the ball or like goes out the frame, it is still able to go in, segment it out, track it across the multiple frames. So this is pretty awesome. Like this can be used in so many use cases and it's groundbreaking for the computer vision industry both for data annotations, using it directly in your own computer vision pipeline, depending on your processing speed and so on. But this is very awesome. It's basically just a large vision language model that they have fed tons of videos examples into with these mask annotations. So you can see a bunch of examples in here, but we're going to see how we can use it on our own images to label our own custom data set with the Encore platform. That is the first platform that has integrated this new SAM2 model. If you just go inside the paper to start with, we can see some comparisons and so on. But the most important thing here is that they now have this memory bank and also the memory attention. So we can use a bounding box, we can use points, we can use masks. So you can just choose an arbitrary point in the image. It's going to segment out that specific region and then they can track it over the number of frames. You can delete points, delete mask and so on if it made any errors and then you can basically just correct it over time. So it's basically just feeding that information into it. It has memory of the previous mask or like the previous segmentations that it has done. And then you can use that to track the information over time. So we now have this spatial information directly integrated into the model. So we don't need to apply tracking on top of it. You can read about the data set that they're using, the model architecture and so on, how they're feeding the memory back into the attention layers. But the most important thing here, let's go down and take a look at the res results. But if we take a look at the graphs here, where to do a comparison of the previous SAM model with the new version two, you can see quantitatively, it is significantly better 
average over the data sets here that they have been using it is just significantly better and it will also be faster because now in the previous versions they both used sam plus qt and some other different trackers where now everything is integrated into sam two so it does everything in one go it is significantly faster and way better results so this is definitely going to be a game changer in the computer vision industry and we have these annotation platforms already integrating it and we're going to see how we can use it in just a second so now we know the key highlights for the new same version 2 models how it works and also what the new use cases and possibilities are with this new model let's now jump into the encore platform because they have already integrated it is the first platform that has integrated the new same 2 and is directly live you can go down in the description find all the details so you can test it out yourself because this can significantly help you when you're annotating your own data both increasing the results of your math but also helping you save significant time in the whole annotation process encore here is pretty much like a whole platform how we can do like data management model testing evaluation annotation and setting up like whole workflows so we have this whole computer vision pipeline when we're developing computer vision projects and training specifically computer vision models so we start with a data set we want to label it then we need to train our models do some evaluation and test and then we just have this whole data flywheel and it just keeps iterating until we're satisfied with the model results we can put it into production have active learning running on top of that so we make sure that our computer vision models keep increasing in accuracy and just becomes better over time when new data is available so now just log into the platform and see how it looks over here to the left we can see pretty much all the features that they have really simple and nice user interface they have the indexes ontologies where we can set up our whole data set or like our project where we have our individual classes and so on and also types of objects that we want to have so it could be bitmaps optic detection segmentation and so on let's now just jump straight down to the projects tab inside our annotation you can create a new project up here i've already created one for this video we have to explore summary of our whole data set we can set up different workflows and so on if your team working together let's now go inside the queue and see all the tasks that we have available and we should start labeling so over here to the right we can just start the labeling process or initiate one of the videos that we have uploaded in here so let's just go down and initialize one we have the docs scale or the night race so let's not go ahead and take that so basically just have these cars here let's try to see if the same version 2 model is capable of doing that so we both have per bear person swan bike and object so right now let's just going to choose the object if we hit shift a it's going to come up with the new segment anything to model we can just apply the label so right now i can just choose a point i'm going to left click on it we have this green dot and it will then go in and segment this car so this is really awesome we can go in and see if we're able to do it on the other one so we can apply the label and you probably even didn't think about when it was processing the mask because it pretty much just happened instantly so let's now do it again but now make sure that you focus on how fast this model is so we hit shift a again we have our label that we can now go in and apply we can also draw a region or a bounding box around it so let's try to do, do that there we go we choose the region it is applying the label and now it has already segmented it so pretty much even before we release the mouse it has annotated our images it, this is really cool if there's any errors in the mask we're going to run through a bunch more examples but if there's any errors you can always right click on it and it's going to delete those specific parts of the region so right now we're working with the second one over here but again we have a perfect mask around it so now we have our two objects annotated in the image you can just think about how long it would have taken if we had to do this manually with a polygon tool we can also go down and actually like just do tracking in here right now it only works on individual images but they're going to add support for videos because this is one of the main advantages with the new same model that it can actually like track these objects over a number of frames very consistently so if you have video files throw them into the platform here you can annotate it with just a single click it's going to track it over a number of frames in your video and then you pretty much have all your mask for your data set you can go in and train your own custom computer vision models and so on deploy it into production and now you have your whole data flywheel up and running now if we go in and click one of the objects and we hit shift T on a keyboard now it's going to track the objects over 30 frames so we don't have to annotate each individual one of them and again the segment ending model is going to take care of this in the future but this is just going to save you a significant amount of time so this model here is integrated into the encore platform you should definitely go in and check it out right now we can see it's just finishing up 
the predictions and we should be able to track it over a number of frames. So right now down here on our timeline, let's just play the video and we can actually like see that it tracks it over a number of frames. So it's just 430 frames to start with. So that's around one second. We can see the segmentation mask here. Just imagine if we had to go in and annotate each individual of these images and the mask, they're pretty much perfect spot on pixel wise for every single frame. So it's now going to take another example here. This is way more complicated to go in and segment every single pixel and create a nice mask. So let's just try to draw a region around the goat here. We've just chosen the object again. You can always go in, change the objects, go in and add classes for your specific data set and project that you're trying to solve. So this is pretty much spot on again. If you want to delete anything, we have to right click on it. But this model here just seems to get it correct pretty much all the time. We can also go in and add stuff. You can zoom in and out of the images, but the mask here is pretty much spot on. There could be a bit of an error here. So let's go in and right click on it. It's going to delete that part. And then you can go in and correct the mask based on that. So we apply the label. Let's now go in and see if we can track this object as well, which is pretty interesting. So I just want to see this as the last example because this is actually like pretty awesome. Again, we have a video here of a mountain goat basically just walking around. It is way harder to distinguish between background and also to act like code and object that we want to segment out. But the same model here is just like the results are just speaking for itself. So definitely make sure that you test it out and use it as much as you can in your computer vision applications and projects. So it should be good here. Let's now just play it. We can see that it does a pretty good job. So we basically just have every single frame here annotated. The camera is moving, the goat is moving, and this is a very complex scenario and situation. So it has never been faster to have computer vision projects up and running when you want to train your own custom models, which is often the case. So then we'll basically just take the same two model label our data set and fine tune smaller models. So we don't have to run these large models. Could also be that we want to have more frames per second or run multiple video streams at the same time where we need 30, 50 frames per second, or even process like 60 frames per second, then we need smaller, more lightweight models, but we can then just take our data set, fine tune on that, and then use those models in production. This is still what you will do in most scenarios, but at the end of the day, this same model here, the version one was groundbreaking. The version two here is significantly better. Thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you'll learn a ton. Definitely go in and check this model out. Test it out with the Encore platform. Again, all the information will be down in the description. This is the first tool that has implemented this same two model and they're going to add the video capabilities to it as well. And then I just hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy labeling.